It's tough to imagine abandoning your home, walking away from your community and the life you love. That's what happened to thousands of Newfoundlanders. It was called forced resettlement. 250 coastal communities were uprooted between the 1950s and 1970s. Some managed to float their homes away with them. It was a sad chapter in that province's history, and now it's happening again. Four towns are in the midst of deciding whether to resettle. Our Ross Lord visited one of them. Little Bay Islands is a jewel. So gorgeous, it makes you wonder why anyone would want to leave. But look closer. The general store is abandoned. The playground is empty, and so are the school hallways. When I came here to teach in 1981, we had uh, 128 kids in the school. And how many are there now? Right now, there are two. Now that the fish plant is closed, people are confronting a painful prospect, voluntarily shutting down the island. Bed and breakfast owner Charlene Hins says the Newfoundland government is making it tempting to leave. They have offered us between $250,000 and $270,000, depending on the size of the family, um, to pack up and go. The government could save $30 million if resettlement is approved, mostly by discontinuing the ferry service. It's time to get out of there, go to a bigger community where you can get to a hospital if you need to or whatever you need to do, right? The upcoming vote has injected something into this community that never existed before, tension. A rift between full-time residents who mostly favor resettlement and summer residents, many of whom oppose it but don't have the right to vote. They're afraid to complain publicly for fear of making relations even worse. It isn't like there's a lot of talk going on, maybe only in the kitchens. Perry Locke is in a unique predicament. Born and raised here, he has a young family and a full-time job operating the government's subsidized power plant. He was also the mayor before pressure to go along with resettlement caused him to resign. It kind of makes you feel like a prisoner in your own community. You're, uh, you feel isolated. I've had people say, turn around, let me see if you've got the target still on your back. And even to those who think the government policy is fair, leaving won't be easy. There's no access to even come back then. With the ferry gone, the power gone, the services, the water, all that gone. A monumental decision from which there's no turning back. Ross Lord, Little Bay Islands, Newfoundland.